Hey guys, welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm Greg, and that's a numbers matching 72 Chevelle. Yeah, there's a 402 under the hood. She's looking sweet. Look at that grill, look at the chrome. I always look at the headlight surrounds, make sure they're in good shape. I mean, the chrome on it, as bright as can be. You can see the trims around the um, marker lights are looking sweet, and that blue is just beautiful. The black stripes really set it off. Now, those stripes are buried under the clear. I can just barely feel them there. Of course, we've got the cow induction hood on this car. All the body lines are looking good, maybe just a little wider at the back than it is up here at the front, but definitely within tolerance. As you look down the side, she's straight as an arrow. Just absolutely gorgeous. It's got the stock appearing wheels on it, wrapped with some BFGs. You can see that the door lines up real nice with the front fender here. Also lines up with the quarterback here. And then my favorite color interior on a muscle car is black. And this one's got it, man. She's looking good. That door panel's looking sweet. The door jam's nice and clean. You can see it's got the staple shifter in the center console. It's got the bucket seats. We got seat belts in the back seat. In fact, there's three of them in there, so you can take three little guys for a ride. Now we got a good looking package tray. We got a good looking headliner. We got shoulder belts still there. We got the dome light working. All the dash is looking good. We got good looking gauges. We got good looking lenses on the gauges. The dash itself is in good shape. The dash pads looking sweet. These door lips here also nice and clean. It's beautiful. We'll grab these keys right here so we can pop open the trunk. Whenever you're looking at a car, you definitely want to look inside the trunk. Got to check out that trunk floor. Again, these stripes back here, buried in that clear. You can just barely, barely feel them. Looks like we got an extra, um, what's this? Oh yeah, this is a carburetor. Yeah, it's, it's got the, uh, the, I believe the Edelbrock's on it now, and I'm not sure what's in there, but it's an extra carb. Uh, we've got the um, cover for the car. Always pull up the trunk mat. Look at that trunk floor. See how nice and clean that is. See the wheel wells are nice. We got a spare tire in here. Bottom side of the deck lid's nicely painted. They've got the jack instructions on here. You always want to check out the lips on the deck lid also, where that skin is wrapped around to the structure. Chrome on the back bumper's looking sweet. And as you look down the passenger side, she's straight as can be also. You can see that that passenger side door lines up nice with a quarter. The body line's looking good. The door also lines up nice with the front fender. Guys, you ever know anybody that had one of these? Send us a message. You got some pictures of one of these? Send us some messages. Now, Tom answers his phone seven days a week and practically 24 hours a day, so you can call him anytime. Let's take this 402 for a ride. Got numbers matching Chevelle here. Now this baby has got some nice quiet mufflers on, so if you're the type that doesn't like to make a lot of noise, this is the car for you. But if you're like me and you like to make noise, well, you know what? I can put some loud mufflers on this baby for you. Or you can do that once it hits your driveway. She is one beautiful Chevelle though. Tell you what, and numbers matching, very, very rare to get one of these that is still numbers matching. Most of these babies have been uh, blown up and had motors switched out, so numbers matching is definitely rare. She's driving awesome, going straight down the road. I don't have many hands on the wheel, going nice and straight. 
She's braking straight, brakes feel good, power steering feels good. Now we can deliver this car anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you all about how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Now looking down here on the dash, I got the tilt wheel here, I'll tilt it down. You can see all the gauges are looking good. It looks like the gauges are working. We do have the original radio in here. And it is making the original radio music. <laughs> so if you want to upgrade that, um, they make a lot of radios that fit right in that spot that look um, like the original radio. They call them Reto Sounds. And then you can also like hook your phone up and everything like you do with your newer car, your daily driver. Let's see, we got windshield wipers working. Just one beauty right here. And like I said earlier, man, if you got any comments or anything on the car, feel free to comment on it. We'd love to hear from you. And if you see Tom or I at a car show, make sure you come up and introduce yourself. We'd love to meet you. We sell most of our stuff sight unseen on the internet. So we don't get to meet a lot of our customers. But what we're gonna do for you now is something nobody else does to every one of their vehicles. We're gonna put this baby up in the air so you can see just how pretty the bottom side of it is too. Well, we're right here at our shop at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So stick with us, we're going in the air right now. All right, we're underneath this 72 now, and as you can see, she is just as clean underneath. It's got a brand new tank. Now, the bottom of the car has been all cleaned up and been coated with this beautiful black paint. It's looking sweet. Even the frame's painted. You can see that the exhaust system looks like it's pretty new. We got a 12-bolt rear end in here. This 12-bolt's got a 331 gear, and it is posy. And then you can see the brand new bushings in the lower control arms, nice and shiny. Looks like the shocks are pretty new also. Now on the brakes, the guys pull those all apart and make sure they're in good working order. I also see brand new bushings up here in the upper control arms also. It's got stock appearing mufflers on it. Of course, everybody knows me, I'd put loud mufflers on it, but not everybody likes loud mufflers, um, especially my neighbors. <laughs> we got a uh, new fuel line, a new brake line. They've painted the drive shaft to look like bare metal, which is cool. I guess one of those must be a vapor line. Oh yeah, it's got all the vapor lines on it because we got fuel line and vapor line on this side. So we got a vapor line on that side, a brake line, got the whole nine yards. Now the bottom side of the floor here is also painted, looking good. Cross members all painted up, looking good. We got the Turbo 400 Trans looking good. And then up front here, we got the numbers matching 402. We got the, uh, looks like brand new lines going for the trans cooler here. We got brand new bushings on the lower control arms here. I mean, everything under here is looking new. The uh, disc brake setup here, also all the bracketry looks new. The backing plates look new. And I did mention that it is disc brakes up here. Uh, the steering gear has also been painted with that bare metal paint to make it look like it's new. Uh, of course, here's the fuel pump with the return lines and all that. That's what all those lines going to the back are hooked up to. I always look at the front frame horns to check those for straightness, and I always look at the core support. Um, the front bumper looks like it's new chrome. Um, the bumper brackets have been all restored. And then up in the wheel well, you can see how nice and clean all that is. The wheel lip moldings are looking good. It's got stock appearing wheels on it, and then we've got Two, oh, I can't see anymore. Two 35 6015s up front. As you work your way down the side there, you can see the paint right down to the bottom edge is looking good. You always want to look at this pinch weld also. You can see those spot welds, those are all factory. I always feel the back side. The back side of this one is just as smooth as the front side. Um, out back here, we got the same size tire back here, 235-60-15s, and again, same good looking wheels. And look at that wheel well there. Look how nice and clean that is. I mean, I tell you what, you're gonna have to invest in some mirrors to show off the bottom side of this when you take this baby to a car show. Now let's get under the hood and check out that 402. 
All right, we're under the hood of this baby now, and like I said earlier, it's a numbers matching 402. Um, you can see they've used all the correct clamps on everything. Looks like we got GM markings on the hoses. Now, on top of that stock intake is an Edelbrock carburetor. Uh, Edelbrock is pretty close to what would have came on these things originally, but just a newer version of it. Uh, see the AC box there, the evaporator box is nice and clean, all that uh, fiberglass is looking good. The firewall looks like it's got a brand new wiring harness back there, I see brand new wires. Now um, we've got power brakes on it, you can see the stock AC compressor there, it does have power steering. Um, here's part of that canister system there, I'm telling you about all those uh, VAP lines coming from the uh, gas tank. You can see that the top of the battery here looks like an old-fashioned battery, but that's just the top to make it look that way so we can show off the car shows. Uh, the exhaust manifolds have been all restored. They're looking good. The inner wheelhouses are all painted up nice. I mean, everything about this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. So give us a call at 248-974-9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales Park this dream in your driveway.